Amy had kept her distance for days now. She wasn't avoiding Golden Heart out of anger or resentment, more out of confusion. He had shown her a kindness she hadn't expected, a kindness that left her feeling vulnerable. Every time she thought about their last encounter, about the pendant he had given her, her heart stirred with emotions she wasn't sure how to handle. She couldn't bring herself to fully engage, so she stayed back, observing from afar. Golden Heart hadn't pushed. He hadn't followed up or asked her any more questions. He simply went about his day, helping around the village, engaging with the villagers in a way that seemed so effortless. Amy noticed how the others were drawn to him. They spoke highly of him, about his warmth, his compassion and his quiet strength. He fit in so well with the community and yet there was something about him that still felt different. A part of her wondered where he had come from, what his real story was, but she hadn't asked. Not yet. From a distance, Amy found herself watching him more than she wanted to admit. She told herself it was just curiosity, nothing more. But deep down she knew it was something else entirely. That afternoon, as she sat under the shade of a tree on the outskirts of the village, she saw him again. He was helping an elderly villager carry a heavy load of firewood. The old woman smiled up at him, and Goldenheart laughed, that same soft, gentle laugh that had caught Amy's attention when they first met. Her chest tightened as she watched him. He looked so at ease, so genuine. It was as if nothing fazed him, as if his patience was infinite. And yet she couldn't shake the guilt she felt. She had been keeping him at arm's length, unsure of how to respond to his kindness, unsure of how to let someone like him into her life. Amy turned away, biting her lip. The pendant hung around her neck, hidden beneath her scarf, and every time she felt it against her skin, it reminded her of him, of his words, his compassion, and how she had struggled to accept it. She wasn't ready for this, not yet. But she also couldn't ignore the growing regret that tugged at her every time she thought about their interactions. She hadn't been fair to him. He had only ever tried to be kind, and she had put up walls, thinking that keeping her distance was safer. The truth was, she wasn't sure what was safer anymore. The sound of soft footsteps behind her pulled her out of her thoughts. She turned her head slightly, just enough to see one of the villagers approaching. It was a young girl, no older than eight or nine, with wide, curious eyes. She had a small bouquet of wildflowers clutched in her hands. Amy? The girl called out shyly. I... I wanted to give these to you. I heard you've been feeling down. Amy blinked, momentarily startled. She hadn't expected anyone to notice, let alone a child. The girl's innocent gesture warmed her heart, but at the same time, it made her feel a pang of sadness. Had she really been that distant? She smiled softly and reached out, taking the bouquet from the girl's hands. Thank you, she said quietly. That's really sweet of you. The girl beamed, clearly pleased with herself. You're welcome. Oh, and Mr. Goldenheart said you liked flowers, so I picked the prettiest ones I could find. Amy's breath caught in her throat. Goldenheart! Told you that? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. The girl nodded enthusiastically. Yeah, he's really nice. He's been helping a lot of people around the village. He talks about you sometimes, too says you're really strong. Amy's heart sank. The weight of her guilt pressed down on her even harder now. She had kept him at a distance, tried to convince herself that it was better that way, but here he was, still thinking of her, still believing in her. Does he? Amy murmured, her mind racing. She felt the familiar sting of regret sharper this time, cutting deeper than before. 
The girl nodded again, then glanced over her shoulder. I, uh, I should go. Mom's waiting for me. But I hope you feel better, Miss Amy. Thanks! Amy said softly, watching as the girl skipped away, leaving her alone with her thoughts once more. She stared at the bouquet in her hands, the vibrant colours of the wildflowers almost mocking her. Golden Heart hadn't given up on her, even after everything, even after she had distanced herself from him. Why? Why was he still so kind? Amy closed her eyes, leaning her head back against the tree. The pendant around her neck felt heavier than usual, as if it was a reminder of all the things she hadn't yet confronted. She wasn't ready to let him in, but she couldn't deny that his presence in the village, in her life, had begun to affect her in ways she hadn't expected. As much as she wanted to remain distant, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was missing something. That maybe, just maybe, there was more to Golden Heart than she had allowed herself to see. And perhaps in time, she would find the courage to face it. But for now, she would remain a distant observer, watching him from afar, silently wrestling with the emotions she wasn't ready to confront. One day, she thought, one day I'll be ready, but not yet, not today. For now, she would continue to watch, continue to try and understand why someone like him cared so much, why he was willing to wait. And maybe in time, she would find the strength to let him in.